Hello, saints of God. Prophet Nakia here with a special message from our Lord King Jesus. The Lord, our Savior, Master King Jesus Christ, wants me to remind you, ladies and you gentlemen of the kingdom, but it's particularly you, ladies, just because of the dispensation that we're in or we're in in the previous era. God says that this one, this time, you ain't gonna have to share that. You ain't gotta worry about him. You ain't gotta worry about him making no announcement. You ain't gotta worry about nobody coming after you or him. Nobody taking advantage of you and him. You ain't gotta worry about him not handling things for his kingdom. You ain't gotta worry about him not manifesting no glorious light. You don't have to worry about him having no other babies, no other baby mamas, no other nothing. You're not gonna have to worry about it. Ladies, if you have been praying to God for a particular man that he looks, acts, and breathes uh, specifically like a certain thing, God says, I'm giving it to you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Listen, coming from a lady who uh, had been um, in a marriage for some time, many years, and I'm telling you, you don't ever want to get to a point that make you second guess your place in your own kingdom. When that happens, that means somebody's dethroned you or at least attempted and tried. When there is confusion in your household, no matter, no matter if you have evidence or not, ladies, that is a clear indication that somebody has gone the wrong way. That means somebody is out of alignment. That means somebody has destroyed the camp. That means that, some, that somebody called the enemy has come in has crept in whether in thought deed word action it doesn't matter he doesn't have to lay with them in order to be with them jesus said that even if you commit adultery in your mind looking at another man's wife you committed adultery period now this is activated for kingdom marriages too. When you are betrothed to a spouse, meaning that God has engaged you to a spouse, I don't really care what their circumstances are. If they be looking at another woman or they looked at another man with love and enmity in their heart or desire burning inside of them and they haven't reserved that for you, they've committed treason. They're supposed to be put out. But God says, Watch what I do for you because this next one is your best one. Never again will you have to live under strife. Never again will you have to ask questions and never have them answered. Never again will you be lonely. You'll have a man in your bed. You'll have your wife in your bed. You'll have your husband in your bed every night. You'll sit down and create traditions together. You're going to eat together. You're going to pray together. You're going to read the Bible together. You're going to go to church together. You're going to buy groceries together. You're going to run errands together. You're going to go fishing together, hiking, um, uh, skiing, whatever. Yes, Lord Jesus. Skiing. Amen. Skiing. Somebody take me to Aspen. I have never been. I want to go skiing. I want to go to Aspen. Amen. So praise God, what he's doing for you is something that no eye have seen, no ear have heard, neither has entered the hearts and minds of man what he's prepared for you. And some of you, you're going to meet him today. You're going to meet him today. So God bless you, saints of God. I pray for you, ladies, if you've had a um, difficult journey in your single womanhood, if you had a difficult journey... Uh, in your marriage or anything you know I want to hear from you I may not respond but I want to hear from you or you could put in the comments prayer hands prayer emojis and I'll be I'll be faithful to lift your name up in prayer I'm going to lay my hands on you on it and I'm going to pray lift you up in prayer if you have a particular prayer request outside of this kind of stuff let me know in the comments Put prayer emojis, prayer hands, and I'm going to specifically pray for you. The Bible says when a prophet prays for you, when you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you receive a prophet's reward. 
So I know that there are not many prophets on TikTok, but I am one of them. And when you come into my kingdom and you, you allow me in and you receive me totally as a prophet, right? You work on your heart. You work on your dreams. You work on your heart toward me. You work on honoring me. You work on making sure that you set your notifications to hear when I'm coming to you, right? You enjoy the words. You believe the word because you believe and receive God. Something is bound to happen miraculously. I'm not talking about just no little anything. No little peasant thing. Honey, no, this is not the kind of kingdom I function in. There's no peasantry going on here ever. There's no peasantry manifesting here. It ain't going to be no sprinkle of joy. I'm not about to get you a better job. No, you about to be a job. I'm not about to get you a lender. You about to be the lender. That, that's what my kingdom commands. That's what the demand is on my anointing. And whenever I've gone the wrong way, the other way, I always, I, I, I always did not see results. Right? You're the head and not the tail. Above only, now never beneath. The lender, not the borrower. So if you connect it to me, that's the prophecy on your head as well. So I want to come into agreement with you in Jesus' name. Today is also Purim. So it's Purim. And so I keep seeing the same number on people's license plates every time I'm driving. Because it's also a miracle for me to be driving right now. And so, oh, look at that little red carpet. <laughs> I've been seeing so many carpets. Red Carvets, blue Carvets, black Carvets, white Carvets. I've been seeing a lot of them. I actually saw a blue uh, Carvet with red interior. That was that was something strange. But anyway, um, 300 is significant because today's Purim. And so one of the hallmarks that Purim has settled on your house and that you're in covenant with God and you're part of the kingdom of God is that your enemies are exposed. They're deployed and then they're swallowed up by the presence of God. Like their, their lives ended. Their prosperity ended and then all of their children, everybody who looks like them, acts like them, who has their nature, they're done. Now, and so it separates the Jews, the real Jews, the, the people of God. That's what I mean. I don't mean this black heretic stuff, this black Jew stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the people of God, the true people of God. It separates them. It divides the wheat from the tares. So it divides the true Jews, the people of God, from the false, the falsies, who are just posers. Yeah. And so the number 300 is significant because if you ever watch that movie 300, you saw that Leonidas led the captivity of his enemies with only 300 men very unlikely accomplishment but guess what leonidas became the most famous person of his kingdom the enemy wanted to keep them down wanted them to be dead wanted to take his kingdom but leonidas said oh no i'm gonna die for mine we have the best military uh minds we've been training our young boys in military warfare since they were eight years old no 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 we're gonna win this and although the story ended with like leonidas being killed and the whole arm being killed we know that that's not true why because gideon and the 300 that movie comes from the bible gideon's 300 and we know what god did with them they won so in the name of jesus i just want to prophesy winning season over you in jesus name god bless you saints of god Look for me later on today on social media. I'll be dropping more videos day to day by day um, as I have more time on my hands. So God bless you. I look forward to seeing you.